Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use two light guns at the same time for light gun games on Botticera 35. So for this video, I'm gonna be using a Sindon light gun as well as a Wii Remote paired with a Mayflash Dolphin Bar. So let's dive into it. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so I've got my lights turned down here. Everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna take my regular gamepad controller here and I'm gonna jump into Alien 3 The Gun. We're gonna let this load in once we start seeing the first couple of screens populate in here. We're going to jump into RetroArch. So if you've done this before in other collections, it's gonna be the same process. You're gonna hit your hotkey button and then one of your regular function buttons on your gamepad controller. So for me, on an Xbox One style controller, it's gonna be the A button. If you're on like a PlayStation style controller, it's gonna be the X. Um, and then you just kind of have to play around with it. You may have yours configured and mapped differently. So it's always gonna be hotkey and one of your four buttons. So you may have to just kind of do trial and error until you get that. So I'm gonna hit hotkey and A for me. It brings up the quick menu within RetroArch. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna hit our back button. So for me on my Xbox One style controller, it's the B button. We'll hit back, it may be A for you. Um, it may be circle for some people, just depends again on what gamepad controller you're using. So we're gonna go over to the left column here. We're gonna drop down to settings. Now we don't have to select this, we just go over now to the right column. That's all of our settings and we'll drop down to input. So we're gonna go down to port one controls. So again, I have my Mayflash Dolphin Bar plugged in. I also have my Sindon Light Gun plugged in. So we need to know which is going to be port one controls. Is it gonna be Sindon or is it going to be the Wii Remote? And again, if you have different Light Guns controllers, you don't have to have the exact two I'm using. It's going, the same process is gonna to apply to you. So port one controls will go in here. And once we jump into port one controls, we're gonna look at the mouse index. This is what is going to be your light gun controller. So for mouse index here, it says Mayflash Wiimote. So we know that that is gonna obviously be our Wii remote here. So we need to go and map this one manually. We don't have to map the Sindon light gun manually when we get to that one because with Bodice Arrow 35, it's automatically pre-configured and plug and play. So we're gonna go all the way down here and you can see we get these gun icons here with the gun functions that are labeled. And for this one, it says gun trigger. And if we go over there, it says mouse one. So I think this actually might be automatically um, configured on this one for me. It may be for you, it may not be, just depends on your setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my regular gamepad controller. I'm going to hit A to select this function. And now it says gun trigger, press keyboard, mouse, or joypad. And we have a little time period there that we have to pull that function. We're just gonna pull the trigger on our Wii Remote. So if you don't have the casing here, it's just gonna be the little trigger on the backside of your Wii Remote. So I let it time out here, I'm gonna select it again, and now pull the trigger. And we can see actually on screen, it's populating in there. We have the mouse um, cursor, I guess we'd call it. Um, but now I have to go up and we're gonna go to that next function. So this is gonna be reload. So for reload, we actually don't reload in this game, but uh, for some games you will need to reload. You can either shoot off screen or assign a button function to that. With the Wii remote, I always use the A button on top. It's just easy to go in there and hit that. So we're going to select the function here with the A button on our gamepad controller and then just hit whatever button you wanna assign on your Wii remote. So for me again, it was A. Um, gun Augs A, I think we do use this one for this particular title. Some games you don't have that, that's gonna be like your secondary weapon. Um, in this case, it's the explosion, explosives rather, that you um, activate and kind of drop as like a grenade in the game. So same deal, I'm gonna assign this to the plus button on my um, Wii Remote up on top. And that's all I'm gonna do here. Actually, nope, I gotta do start and select. I forgot this one's arcade, so you have to add the coins with select. So for this one, I'm gonna use start is gonna be my home button. And for select, I'll actually probably assign this as the plus. And I'll go back up here to aux A, and I'll assign that as um, D-pad down. So you can do whatever you want. Obviously, you're kind of limited with a Wii Remote as to how many functions you can assign to it, but um, is what it is there. So all I have to do now is just back out of this and I'm gonna go down to port two controls. So the Wii remote should be all set up. So port two controls, we're basically just gonna check up on this. It says right here under mouse index, send in light gun. So we don't need to map this. It should be plug and play ready to go. So I'm going to back out and all I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to hit my hotkey and my A button to exit RetroArch now. 
So now we're into the game. So let's add our credits. We're going to start with player one should be this one because that was port one controls. I'm going to add my coins. I already forget what button that is. So that's plus. So uh, you can see credits are going up there on the left hand side. And now with the send and light gun, we're going to add some credits over here. So I'm not sure which button that is. Let's see, there it is. So it's this one right here, the one on the right hand side closest to you, the player. So both of these are already functioning properly with the credits at least. So now we're going to just hit start. And that is the left front button um, on the send and light gun. And then it says pull trigger for player one. So both of these are set up and ready to go. We're going to jump into the game, test it out, make sure that they're both functioning. I chose this game because a lot of other ones you have to manually reload. But there we go. I'm tracking on screen perfectly. We've got player one here, player two over here, and they're both firing. Everything is working perfectly here. So this is a game you can actually play two player by yourself if you wanted to. All right, guys, you can see from the process here, it's pretty straightforward in terms of setting up both light guns at the same time in Botocera. The Sinden light gun, of course, is pretty much plug and play, while the Wii Remote requires just a little bit of manual mapping. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful to you, be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you on the next video.